Welcome back to another episode of the Bonding of Moonpeer Boston Rebirth. I'm your host, Boston. Joining me as always is Moonpeer. Hello. Uh, let's dive into, boy, this week. Uh, yeah. One note, we did take Saturday off. Uh, Moonpeer yes, was, was out of town, and I thought, well, I could... I could. We were just talking about in the pre-show about taking a day off of work, so we'll, we'll take a day off of uh, uh, Bonnie of Isaac too. So uh, we're we're one day down, but I feel like this was a week of really good runs that I just could not get it together for. <laughs> you think you couldn't get it together for, dude? You still took the week. Like I haven't even run today yet, and you still taking the week like three to three to one. I think it was, because mm. I also couldn't run Friday, because by the time I finished work, we had to start traveling on Friday night, or Friday evening. Right. So, I think you took, like, Monday, Tuesday, and then, like, Thursday and Friday, so you'd take it the week way beforehand. Like, you couldn't get it down. I was dead by floor three pretty much every single every single run this week, except for one. Right. And Well, you on Friday, you missed out on a Judas Darkroom run that was pretty it was a pretty solid run all the way up until i picked up dead cat and on shoal on the satan fight i got in dead cat purgatory and i just just so much fun to be stuck in that that place of all places yeah it's like at this point i know some people will say like well i've got nine tries i'll i'll give it a shot you know one of them has to succeed but if you're just not doing enough damage fast enough yep I, I'll give you two lives, and that's that's about it. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I'm pretty much the same. I was a, I was a case of, like, when we first started, I was always, I am going to burn through all of these lives, and I'm going to make sure one of them works. Yeah. But I, these days, it's just like, no, I, I'm not going into this hush fight again <laughs> with one heart, just so I can die with, like, a sliver left. Mm-mm. These 15 minutes of my life are more important than this. Yes. <laughs> that, yeah, that pretty much actually sums it up. Um, yeah. yeah, Dead Cat Purgatory is it's the worst place to be stuck into. Um, yeah. I don't know what day it was, uh, but you saw the text message I sent to myself, which... That tells you how weird my brain has been recently. Uh, when I tweeted, I literally, when I play Isaac, like I have my notepad right here mm-hmm. that sits about three feet away from me. Right. But normally by the time I'm doing dailies, I think this was the Wednesday daily, there is three things on top of this notepad. Right. At which point I'm like, I'm not moving that stuff, even though it's like a phone, a headphones usually... And then something else. <laughs> it's like, that's how tired I am. Any impediment to this is not going to work. Yes. I'll show it here on stream. Um, but these are my Binding of Isaac notes here on screen. And there's double moon pier. Um, but yeah, I, I also also have like... So you're talking about Tuesday. Here's my... Uh, <laughs> I can tell you my, my breakdown. Mine says Tuesday, Tuesday Judas slash NM slash IL. So it's Judas normal mode, it lives. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wrote, why does a big fan keep showing up? <laughs> <laughs> he used to show up like three days this week? Yeah. Like uh, I wrote, Brimstone and Tech X. Um, yep. m- makes every charge time very long, oddly. Yes. Which I, I don't think I expected, if you don't pick up really any upgrades other than Brimstone and Tech X, I was sort of surprised that charge time got really long i think it's because brimstone has a large t- a long charge time as it is because yeah. that does lower your it takes a long time to get that thing up yeah it increases and, your tier delay but tech x does the exact same thing because to get the maximum amount of tech x you have yeah. to charge it to the fullest to get the biggest circle that's true yeah uh but yeah that that run was kind of kind of funny i think i took that run and this is the one of the days i took because as always, Boston completely forgets to do it. I cheated. <laughs> I I don't remember. I, this run was the one where I wrote down that I got 2020, and then I wrote down, quote, felt like I had to grab D100 in boss rush, end quote. <laughs> yep. I saw a D100, and I was like, I sort of have to take that, right? Yeah, I did too. And this is also the same run. 
was this the same run where I cheated or is this this I don't know either way I took one of the days this week because I cheated by going straight down using a sacrifice room um, mm. and jumping down a couple of floors extra just to get that sweet bonus points so no I didn't do that on this one I um, you don't do I, period that's how I know I can win yeah I I got into such a bad spot when I kept re-rolling that by the time I got down to it lives the only way that I could really do damage, because I, of course, rolled into Cursed Eye. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did the same thing. I had Tech 2 and Number 2 basically holding the button, the fire button down I just let and using do Tech damage. 2 and Number 2 to do damage was the only way I got through It Lives. Uh, I made it through It Lives, and this is, the, this is actually the floor I cheated. This is the run I cheated on, I should say. Because mm. I didn't take it lives on in that run. There was a sacrifice oh. room the floor before. And I had right. full health because I'd just been d 100 ing myself over and over and over again to the point where oh, I ended right. up with full health. So I just hit the sacrifice room, which was like, boop, 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 take me all the way down. Thank you very much. I will take that. Yeah. My problems, and this is the run I text myself on as well, because I didn't pick up my pad to make the note. And then the next morning, uh, on the way to work, I, th- I thought, oh, I forgot to make those notes. So I sent myself a text message so that right. I wouldn't read it. And then when I got home, I'd see new text message and then I could write it down. Mm. So let's talk about the, the role I got on. I think it was show. Okay. Mm. I did the D100, kept on spinning it up, kept on spinning it up. I got conjoined. Okay. Which is not too bad. I got tiny planet. Okay, interesting. I got Broken Mirror. Ooh, okay. <laughs> and then here's where my run came to a stumbling, screeching halt. I got Ipecac. Oh, God. Oh, God. With Conjoined it's... as well. So it wasn't just one. You can't dodge it, yes. ever. <laughs> and I didn't have Pyromaniac, I didn't have Host Hat, I didn't have any of the things that oh, protect you God. from bomb damage. And I had three bombs that I would spit out and then... The, they would circle around me outwards and then circle back towards me because of Tiny Planet and Broken Mirror. I wouldn't wish a run like that on my enemy. Oh, yeah, don't get me wrong. I still took the day because I cheated to get further down than you Right, did. yeah, like you made it far enough. But at the same time, it was one of those things where it's like, oh, this is the worst D100 I could have ever gotten. Like, yeah. Ooh, that's an absolute nightmare of, of a D100. And that's where the whole um, the weirdness of the D100s come in as well. Because yeah. you can roll it and you'd be like, okay, now I've got, you know, I've got Tech Axe and I've got Conjoined and I've got these things. so I'm f- <laughs> And I'm guppy. <laughs> yes, so everything is dying about two seconds after I enter the room. And then you get a run like this where it's it's survival of the how quick can you get out of the door before your tears explode moment. <laughs> right. Oh. Just don't stop for nothing. That's pretty much exactly what it was, to be honest. I didn't even finish the boss on that floor. It was just like, yeah, I'm done. Because at that yeah. point as well, it's not a half a heart. It's a full heart as well because they're oh, bombs. Oh, yeah. So I was done <laughs> so quick. I did have two conversation topics f- based on the, the dailies this week. First one I had is I'm still not entirely sure how I feel about Bumbo. He showed up on Thursday's run. He was the very yeah. first item. And I picked him up because I haven't picked him up in so long. And I just... I'm still not sure how to feel about him. I don't like him. I, if he's in a room, I... If there's no other options, I will pick him up. Because... Sure. If you if you happen to be on a run where you, you can collect a fair bit of coins, then he works out quite nicely. If you... I, if you're not, he, he sucks up your coins sometimes faster than you can go and get them if you need them. Yeah. I I picked up a, a buttload of coins on Thursday's run, and I got him up to level four really quickly, and he was dropping a bunch of um, stone chests for me, which was really nice, which dropped a lot of money, which he dropped more stone chests, but I still feel, like, personally attacked whenever he drops a bomb on me. Like, yep. he picks up a bunch of coins, or he's just firing randomly and then drops a bomb. It's like we are talking about earlier you know accidentally stepping on a cat it's just that look they give you where it's like why yep. it's like that's the look i kept giving to bumble it's like what i give you money uh, my least and- favorite one for him is when he goes and drops it on the enemy 
and yeah. then you don't even notice he's done it because it's not like you've activated it and there isn't a bomb dropping noise. Right. Or at least not one that's distinctive enough in a room full of chaos. And by the time it goes off, you're stood right next to it. You're like, what just blew up? What hit me? And then the bomb yeah. was in the corner just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, stupid jerk. Uh, the other thing that I want to talk about is I'm sort of not sure how I feel about pills lately. I I feel like I'm in this slump where pills are doing more harm than good on nearly every run I'm using them on. Yep. Uh, to me, they've always been a bell curve. Like, yeah. uh, over the course of a week, I can go like, F pills, pills are the worst. Yep. Middle of the week, you're like, pills are the best. End of the week, <laughs> F pills, I hate them. And this right. is cycles like every week, every month, whatever it is, I'm just constantly doing the same thing where it's just like, I will have runs where I will completely avoid them because of stuff like that. And then I will have other runs where I pick them up constantly because I know I'm having a, a really good pill run. I'm actually really disappointed to um, watch for the masterful segue here because I had a really good keeper run mm. this week fueled by pills weird because i didn't the best thing is is i did i got the reusable pill generator i didn't have yeah. like swallow penny or any of the other stuff so i knew it was a risky run um but i just kept on chewing down on those pills until i had i had identified every single one of them and mm. then every time i filled up that bar was like pop the pill button whatever i got use it or toss it i ended up with right. really good fire rate really good damage like really good dps but the same thing that always happens to me with the keeper happened, which is I can't avoid damage, and right. he's not great for that. So I ended up losing that run just because um, I'm really bad at avoiding damage. Well, and the, the keeper, I feel like his damage avoidance is really rough too because he's like just a little too slow. It's not like you're playing Maggie, but it's almost like... Sometimes when you fire up, you know, an Isaac run after you've been playing as someone much faster, yes. you're like, your speed is fine, but if, if it was just like a little bit more, yeah, it's we, the, we really have something here. It's the issue with playing as Azazel, because the problem is right. if you start playing as Azazel, you get so used to his speed, his damage, like his flight. Like Azazel is kind of a super OP hidden character. Oh, yeah. But then you start playing as anybody else. And you start running into issues. <laughs> I see Luis the cat has joined us. As I'm, I, I have my own cat issues here. I'm, I keep trying to move my keyboard out of the way so that my cat doesn't hit the space bar. And every time I do, he stretches out more and more. <laughs> yep. Uh, you won't hear. You didn't hear it. I don't think. But you'll probably catch it when we when you. Um, I have the program on my computer, and I can't even remember the name of it now. When you, it. when you level eight um, the file, uh, yes. you will definitely hear her go meow, 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 behind me. Oh <laughs> uh, well, Louis showing up. I think that's probably our nope, uh, nope questions. Our indication to move over to questions. There you go. Thank you for saving me. Uh, we have two questions this week. First up is from a brand new listener, Adamac Beats. Uh, over on YouTube, asked wanted to ask, have you? He has a whole bunch of questions here, so we'll take them one by one. Um, uh, well, I guess these are all sort of... I'll just do all of them. Have you both 100% completed the game? If so, how many hours did it take? If it's not too much to ask, do you have any quick tips on the most efficient way to go about 100% completion? What's the most helpful to unlock first, etc.? Thanks again for the great content. And thank you for uh, being a new listener. Yes. Uh, uh, I have 100%ed Afterbirth. Yes. Uh, so I'm at 1,001%. Um, I have not uh, met a hundred percent at afterbirth plus, so I'm not a million and one percent. Um, is that is that afterbirth plus is a million one percent? That's pretty yeah. good. Also, uh, small spoiler alert: if you do uh, if you do a thousand one percent on all three save files, it draws a picture across all three of the saves for three thousand and three percent. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's one of those things. Where it's like I don't want to, but I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, 
let's talk about the the first question first. Like, yeah, you've 100%ed Afterbirth. You haven't done it on Plus. I th- right, think right. at this point, I think I technically have 100%ed Base Game. I think. Yes. Um, the only thing... I I'm- think Real Platinum God is the Rebirth's 100%. Um, I think you have that. I don't know because I don't... Because I got the game and got the DLC, so I don't think it unlocks it because right. I still have the DLC stuff. Yeah, like push the goalpost back a little bit. Yeah, like the challenges, like the achievements is complete 20 challenges, but I didn't get that until I completed 30. Right. So that was one of those things. But I'm I'm at the point where I all I have left to do is the keeper. Like literally yeah. the keeper is the only thing between me and... Um, Oh, and a thousand and one percent is finishing off his post-it note. I've done literally everything else in the game except for him, which is <laughs> why there will be a lot of weeks of frustration uh, coming yep. as I attempt to do more and more keeper runs to actually try and find that two two golden runs, one up, yep. one down. Right. Um, and as for what's what's good to unlock, I think that. We can't be specific on that because that depends on your playstyle. It depends on what you're comfortable yeah, with. That's true. Which it, we'll actually cover this a bit more in T's question as well. Because I play it so differently to the way Boston does. Mm-hmm. Which, again, fantastic balancing by by the crew because we play it so differently. Yet when we have a good run and we both feel it's a good run, our scores, we've had weeks where our scores have been 100, 200 points difference. Right, and yet we play it so completely differently. Uh, the recommend recommendation I'd say for unlocking stuff is try and go through as many of the challenges as you can. Yes, um, some of the easier challenges, uh, stuff like computer savvy and uh, you know maybe purity, those unlock pretty good stuff. Um, a lot of ones unlock um, some of the good runes. A yep. lot of those will help, especially Degas. I was Yera. just literally that was the that was the two the two best runes for me, Degas and yep. Yera. Yeah, I like Perthro a lot. Um, that's the, the to, handheld D six. I don't know how to use it. What oh, it's just do? a D six. Okay, so we rolls pedestal items. Yep. Okay, I did not know that. I will try and remember that from now on. Yeah, I, uh, Perthro is. I think there's only one that I don't really like. Oh, uh, Bracano. It's the one that spawns spiders and flies. I love that one. Um, that one's fine. Every, like, all the other ones are great. Like, Alges gives you that uh, uh, bubble around you, the protective bubble. Like, mm-hmm. a lot of them are good. It's just you pick up Bracano and you're like, oh, well, okay. A big thing with Bracano for me is I usually get it in dark secret rooms. Oh, dark. Yeah. Dark Ultra Super Secret Rooms. Super Secret Rooms, yeah. I usually get them in there, and generally speaking, I usually get them right before the boss, so it's like, well, okay, here's a whole bunch of damage for the boss. <laughs> yeah, free damage. Yes. <laughs> um, also asked, how many hours did it take? <laughs> Literally hundreds. I'm up to 600, and I... And, yeah. like, last time I checked was about two weeks ago, and that was 545 hours, something like yeah. that. And... <laughs> And yeah, I literally just the one thing left to do. And it's the challenging part as well is the problem. Because the game has... If you want to play the game and if you want to go for the full unlock everything, be aware you're going to be playing characters you don't like to play. You're going to be doing things you yep. don't like to do. Because everybody has their, their own particular jam with a particular character. Like... I know the big difference between me and Boston. Boston loves Blue Baby. Blue Baby is is a steaming pile of poop for me. Which right. is funny because no he intended. actually spawns with that. <laughs> yeah. But... Yeah, and I mean, part of the reason why I've spent so much time on it is um, I picked this up when Rebirth was out and I had the harder version of The Lost that didn't have Spectral Tears. Yep. Um, so that... And didn't start with... Um, uh, Holy Mantle. Uh, so getting the post-it note, especially getting the Mega Satan post-it note for the Lost, just took forever. Yeah. You used the Nordleaf trick for that, didn't you? I don't think I did, because I never really got a bunch of runs together that gave me the, the Nordleaf and Daddy Longlegs, um, which is my personal favorite combo for uh, 
uh, for Nod Leaf. I know a lot of people like Nod Leaf and um, any sort of orbital, uh, especially uh, oh, ball bandages really or cube good. meat. What's that? That's actually really good. I never thought about that. <laughs> yeah, but that's only really for enemies that are going to push against you yeah someone like mega satan he's not coming anywhere close to you so that's where daddy long legs comes in handy it's actually kind of funny because like the one time i've ever had that combination was when i was uh doing a stream with t and rob and mm-hmm. i was i did an azazel run with that with with them watching and i was explaining things as i went not in too much detail but i happened to pick up nord leaf and i was like look at this Mario 3 reference and then literally two floors later was Daddy Long Legs. I was like, nice. Never had this combo before. Never known about this combo before like a week ago. So perfect. Right. Let's see. try it out. Let's show how it works. <laughs> yeah. Have a two hour long run. <laughs> yup. No. Uh, all right. Well, thank you to Adam Mac Beats for sending in his question. Uh, T-Bomb Rocks asks our second question here today. Uh, what are your top five best and worst items? Uh, let's start with best. <laughs> I think this, um, is the, this is the funny thing for me is because this is something that we diverge on very swiftly. Yeah. Um, we talked about it during the week when you started, you picked up my items during that week. You actually referred to it yes. as a Moon Pier item week. Yeah, the body swap week. <laughs> yeah. Number one for me with a bullet is um, Brimstone. Oh, yeah. It's, in my opinion, it's the best item in the game because if you get that pick that up during a run you're pretty much guaranteed a victory run a victory run with that yeah as long as you're not like me and you don't pick up uh uh oh what was that uh libra <laughs> i think it was yeah it was it was libra all right i'm going to i'm going to pick five other since there are now like 500 items in this game i'm going to see if we can pick it's five items each for each category that are different from from each other. So my first top five item would be Cricket's Head. Okay, yeah, um, that's a good choice. I feel like it's a solid damage upgrade, mm-hmm. but the damage multiplier is where that thing really shines. You're going to have to run that one by me because I did not know he did a multiplier. Sure, so it's a point... 0.5 damage up mm-hmm. by itself, but it's also a 1.5 damage multiplier. Is that um, when you pick it up or for the rest of the run? Both. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so the rich keep getting richer on that. It does not stack with Magic Mushroom. Magic Mushroom does a similar thing with um, uh, Damage Multiplier. Um, but by itself, I think Cricket's Head is is really, really strong. Yeah. Let's see. I like to go out of the box here because the, there's not a whole lot of... It's not that there's not a whole lot of items, it's just there's a whole lot of items that people can say, oh, this is incredible. And right. everyone will have a mutually agreement run with that. Like, you can sit there and say, like, Cricket's Head and Brimstone are both probably going to be way up there. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to try and get a little weird with my choices. Um, let's go chocolate and milk. I'm going to close this window for a second since this is a pole power coming for you. In the distance. There we go. A chocolate milk. Interesting. Yes. Because, no, wait, not chocolate milk, sorry. Rubber cement. I was thinking of the wrong bottle. Oh, man, I love rubber cement. Rubber cement just because out of the three out of four items you can get in a bottle, one is air, one is horrific, horrific in the second <laughs> you pick it up. And then the other two are okay. And in my opinion, rubber cement is incredible. It's, yep. it's so good. Uh, I'm going to pick pinking shears. I hated that for the longest time until I did a boss rush run, run with the pinking shears. <laughs> you have like 10 bodies. Yep. Um, I really like a pinking shears even if you don't go for a uh, boss rush because I it does so much damage that you don't really have to worry about as long as you can get your body to sort of glom onto the boss correctly. Yeah. Um, I think you can do some really, really great stuff. Oh, I, I think it's sneaky strong. Yes, uh, definitely. It's Pinking shears are actually a really good call. Nobody ever seems to give them like, credit. Uh, yeah. Again, going weird, Monstro's Lung. This is where you're going to see the divergence between me, mine and your play style. Yeah. Monstro's Lung to me is... It's one of those things where if you happen to have the right build, and that's obviously always a risk... 
But if you if you've got the right build with Monstro's Lung, he can be devastating. Like you can clear a room out in less than like the second you walk into it, you let go of that button and the room's empty. <laughs> you it just can... blah and everything's done. Exactly. It can be one of those items. So yeah, yeah, my number three is probably Monstro's Lung, which I know is probably on your number three in reverse order. <laughs> it's not a bad item, it's just not one I like to to pick up. Uh, I'm going to pick something that's a lot more common than some of these other ones. I'm going to pick, pick Synth Oil. Um, that's the syringe that has the gray liquid in it. Damage um, and range, is it? Yeah, it's damage and range. Uh, the reason I'm picking it is because it's a 1.0 damage upgrade, but also because it's really, really common, and there are really yeah. no downsides to it. It just gives you damage. Range usually doesn't matter, but there's no... It's not like small rock where you pick it up and it gives you a damage upgrade and it slows you down. There's no downside to it at all, which I think is a huge benefit. Yeah, I'm going to go with that for my number four then. Um, similar kind of issue. Probably a bit more rare. Uh, Serpent's Kiss. <laughs> Curses, that was going to be my next pick. <laughs> <laughs> Serpent's Kiss is so good. It's uh, Unless you know about the Black Heart thing, you pick it up and you think, oh, this is this has done nothing. It's, okay, right. so I get somebody... poison shots every once in a while. Whoopity do. Yes. And it's one of those great things where it's like, oh, everyone who's, why am I suddenly like got two red hearts and a full two rows of black hearts? <laughs> yeah. What's doing that? And Serpent's Kiss can, if you're struggling, Serpent's Kiss can make a, a really weak run into a super powerful run. Yep. Um... Man, uh, I'm going to pick a weird one. I'm going to pick Empty Vessel. I love that one so much. Yeah, I think it's so cool because it encourages you to ride that line between not having any red hearts, so not having any sort of regenerative health, mm -hmm. and then having that really great flight and that occasional, um, that occasional shield around you. Yeah, and it's one of those things as well where... It it's if if you don't know what it does, I picked it up for the longest time, not knowing what it did. Yeah, and then it wasn't until one of the episodes when we were talking about it, it was like, oh, okay, oh, that's really really good actually. Yeah, um, I, I think my last item is going to be a super duper common one, mostly just because I love the difference it makes. Because I, I I don't know if it does, but it feels like it has a huge bump up. Uh, torn photo. I, that's one of my favorite items because you can pick that thing up and you can be like even when you're the keeper who has one of the slowest fire rates in the game you can pick that up and immediately you can feel the difference between a tier rate and yep. then it's one of those things where you if you've already got a good tier rate and then you pick that thing up you go from being like to and you're just like right. okay this is great uh for my last one here i'm actually gonna pick something from afterbirth plus cheat uh and this probably isn't going to be a super popular pick, but I'm going to pick the smelter. Um, what this does is when you use it, it you ingest the trinket that you're currently holding, and you make that effect permanent. Okay, that's kind of a badass. <laughs> yeah. it's I, I know there are a lot of other way stronger items that are there in Afterbirth Plus, but I feel like that one has such a high capability of making really crazy runs yeah like i'm just thinking about it now and just the, some of the trinket effects are really cool some of them are bad but if you can uh, if you can get yeah <laughs> yeah the wheels start turning <laughs> uh, yeah chance to there's items that you can increase the rates of heart drops for example you buy right. one you, you get one of them you smelt it down you turn it in permanence then you can get the one that increases the chance of uh, dropped hearts being red hearts. Turn right. that in. You can do the same thing for spirit hearts. Throw into that yay cancer, and you have a whole different ball game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, all right. Let's pick our five least favorite items, then. I'll start with you again. Uh, d d least favorite items. It's number one, top of the barrel, Ipecac. Yeah. It's... Well, it, it can turn a run incredibly powerful, but at the same time, it's kind of a nightmare to deal with because the second someone's close range, you are in trouble if you don't have one of those things that reduce bomb damage. Yeah. 
Um, I'm looking through the list here. I'm, I'm trying to figure out items that I just don't like versus items that are kind of useless. Because, um, like, here, I'll pick one that's kind of useless, and it's boom. It gives you ten bombs. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good call. That it doesn't really do anything. You know, any bomb pickup will give you five bombs, and then you have pyro that gives you 99. So 10 sort of doesn't feel like it does anything. Yeah, especially when, I mean, literally every item that's associated with bombs gives you five. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, I got Bob's poison bombs. Oh, I got five ex- extra bombs as well. Great. Yeah, I got hot bombs. I got five bombs. All right. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Boom yeah. is terrible. Uh, I'm going to go and take a whole bunch of items off our list with one with one sentence. Okay. Anything that has the word baby in it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> in any, virtually any baby. Yeah. The one exception charged. He's probably the only one I will accept. Yeah. Everyone else can go away. Um, I'm going to pick Dead Sea Scrolls. Yeah. I, I feel like this them. is a forgotten item, and I I hate it because it has kamikaze in it. If it didn't have kamikaze in Wait, it... Wait, why? It has kamikaze? It'd probably be fine. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I it didn't. has... I think it has almost every spacebar item effect in it. <laughs> but the fact that it has kamikaze in there makes it, it it's it's just too dangerous to pick up. Yeah, I did not know it had kamikaze in there. Uh Yeah. Oh, I'm going to go bumbo. I just go away yeah. bumbo. Like, yeah, for all the reasons we talked about. Yeah. Like he's just he's just not worth it for me. Like go away bumbo. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pick Anarchist Cookbook. Yep, that's, that's a very good call. <laughs> I feel like it's not actually that bad, but what makes it bad is it's so common. Yeah. Like, you're always, pride is almost guaranteed to drop it. If you go in a library, that's almost going to be one of them. It's just, it's not bad, it's just, it's everywhere. Yeah, uh, number four for me, I've got a nice easy one for you. The Broken Horn. Oh, the, yeah, the unicorn stump? Yeah, the one that's not the full unicorn stump, but yeah, the broken it's one. it's fine, but you can't shoot, so... Yeah. That's not that great. Um, I'm going to pick Experimental Treatment. The syringe that has the yellow stuff where yeah, it increases re-roll. and shuffles your stats. Yeah. I feel like I have never gotten a good re-roll with, with experimental treatment. I think I've picked that thing up probably hundreds of times at this point, and I think I've got good re-rolls twice. Yeah. If that. It's just too risky. Um, see, I want to say Bucket of Lard, but the, just because... It slows the, you down so much. It does, but at the same time, then you get to stomp on all the rocks, so... Oh, yeah, that's true. That kind of flips it for me where it's like okay now i'm just gonna stomp over everything and hopefully i can get something good on the ground yeah and this um, is your last one right yeah my last one i kind of have forgotten one again i don't know why i don't like this one considering how much i take damage um it's super rare it's midas touch mm, yeah 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 like it turns people it turns people into gold and then when you kill them uh, you get coins for it but the thing is so rare that I've never really had it work well for me. Normally, if I get that, I'm already on a run that allows me to have plenty of money anyway. It ha- does have two really fun synergies. One of them, uh, I'm guessing, is the poop. Yep. Uh, but the other one is Cards Into Humanity. Oh. It spawns okay. an entire room of gold poop. Yes. Which- <laughs> but, I mean, the chances of you getting that are y- okay. you'll win the lottery first. Yeah. I, although it's worth mentioning, I did get another Cards Against Humanity at the same time as having the um, Petrified Poop. Oh, um, wow. And I got so it good. right before Hush. So I went Ooh. from Boss Rush Room full of poop to Hush Room full of poop. <laughs> right. It was kind of great. Uh, my last item is going to be the one that I'm surprised you haven't picked. It is everybody's least favorite item in the history of Isaac, forever and for always, and that's Bob's brain. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think of that. I was, it's a good item. That will it's kill ju- you every single time. It's going to kill you. 
<laughs> you know, like it's just a race. It's it's a race to see how quickly it will kill you because that will happen. Yes, every single time. Yeah. Oh, I don't. Even... And the worst thing about that is it shows up every every single run. Without fail, yep. I will get that thing there. Uh, open that gold chest, and you're like, "Hey, I got an item. Nope. See you later." Yep. Hey, I Screw found a secret friend. room. Oh, hey, there it is. Oh, I killed one of the one of the the sins. Oh, there it is. Oh, hey, I blew yep. up a rock. Oh, there it is. I have curse of the blind. This oh. item probably be fine. Ah, it's curse. It's Bob's brain. Mm-hmm. Son of a. <laughs> uh, congratulations, Bob's brain. You're the worst. Uh, I, no, joint first with Ipecac. Come on. Yeah. God, what a run that would be. Bob's running in Ipecac. <laughs> yeah. Nightmare. It's not, I can't go anywhere. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, everyone, for sending in your questions. And thank you very much, everyone, for listening and watching. Uh, and thank you, Moonpeer, of course, for joining me in the basement. Uh, thank you for trapping me again. Yeah. You, I mean, you got to stay here. So Until we both escape. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And until next week, bye. See ya.